Hey everybody, it's Phil with Behringer. How are you doing today? Welcome to Music Group Studios. I want to talk to you about one of the effects that's in the XR18. It's the Stereo Combinator. And it's a really nice effect because it is a multi-band compressor. And by that, I mean by frequency range, you can choose a compressor just for that set of frequencies. So let me kind of show you what it looks like on the screen, and then we'll talk about it. So here's my mixer, and I have all, like I have a session going on. So for instance, here's my session going on in Logic, and I have it looped for our purposes here. And then I can go ahead and go back here to controlling it through the XR18. So here are my inputs coming in, and I'm choosing them by going to Channel, Input, on the each channel and choosing USB. So then that way it's looking to the USB port and not at the actual XLR inputs. And I can combine them if I wanted to have playback tracks along with live music. For this example, I'm just using playback tracks. So let's go over to effects. One of the cool things about the effects is that I can insert them or have them as a send and return. So if I insert this, I also get to choose where I want to insert this effect into, what channel or what bus. So right here, I'm going to click on insert and you see the levels popping up. I'm inserting it on the master bus because what I want to do is I want to have, let's just say I'm mastering this section, this session, and I want to be able to have multiband compression. So out of the, the effects list, which is <laughs> really stout and has a lot of stuff, I'm going to choose the stereo combinator. And what this is, if you take a look at the screen here, it's very much like a compressor, but it chooses by bands. And so it's nice because I have five bands I can choose from, and I have a threshold here for overall, and then I can choose the trim for overall, and then by band, I have five different bands, like I said, low, low, mid, mid, high, mid, and high. And for each one of those bands, I get to choose what I wanna control with it. So I go low, mid, and I go, okay, I wanna compress this a little bit, and then I wanna have the threshold be down, and then I wanna have the gain. So I can control the gain, and you'll see that that band right there is, is really coming alive because I'm putting a pretty good amount of gain into it. So I've got that going on. And what this allows you to do when you're mixing your music is if you ever wondered about what a mastering engineer does, I mean, it is a whole craft in and of itself and an art form, no debate. But what's nice is when you're trying to do rough mixes or something like that, you can have a stereo mix going on or a complete mix, and you can choose, it's like if it's, if it's too woofy overall or you're trying to match the sound of another record or something like that, multi-band compression can be really handy because if, if the two mixes are really good, mix, your stereo mix is a really good mix, but it's just hating it a little bit in 200 range, you can just take that frequency band and compress that a couple of dB. I wouldn't go crazy with it. I wouldn't have big ratios on it. You know, you just want to threshold it down a little bit and be able to compress it. Or you can do conversely if you go, hey, it needs a little more like bite to let the guitars or vocals come through. I can set a band that's like 2K and I can just pump it a little bit and that'll bring it up in a little mix. And that's how kind of the mastering guys can make a stereo mix almost sound like they've remixed it because they have the capabilities to both EQ and be able to use multi-band compression. So in the master bus, I could go ahead and have another EQ, maybe a third octave EQ or something like that, or an oral exciter, things of that nature. And I can combine these and really do a nice job mastering. So the stereo combiner, again, it's multi-band compression. You get to compress a set of frequencies instead of a channel is how to think about it. You have a whole stereo mix, and you get to compress just a band, and you have up to five bands to choose from. It gives you a lot of dynamic control on your output mix, and it's a really great feature to have in the XR18. So for more information and media about this topic, please feel free to come visit us at Behringer.com. Thanks for joining us here at Music Group Studios.